Hey everyone, my name is Tom J. McCoy and I'm a director, editor, and colorist from Arizona. In this video, I'm gonna go over a couple of compression settings that you can use to upload to YouTube. So everything in this video is gonna be optimized for uploading to YouTube. Um, I'm gonna cover 4K, 2K, 1080p, and some other settings that you should look out for while you're rendering your clips. So it is gonna be fairly in depth and I basically just want to update my old tutorial with things I've learned over the years. Uh, especially with the newer version to Vegas. So before I begin, I do wanna preface by saying that of course, this is a video on the internet and this is all just my personal preference. Um, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Some things might change in the future. Some things you might find work better for you. Um, and that's okay. Uh, especially with render settings, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of up in the air and may change. So keep that in mind as we go through this. This is just stuff that I prefer to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so right here, I have a 1080p clip of just somebody walking through a parking garage. So before we actually start rendering, we want to double check the settings right here. Video properties. Yes, it's set to 1080p. 8-bit uh, full range, that's going to be Rec. 709, which is what this color space is in. And I'll color, you know, I'll cover color spaces in another video in the future. Uh, resolution render quality. Uh, we can just change this to best for now. That's fine. Uh, motion blur gaussian. Interlace mode. There is no de-interlacing. Uh, just keep it as none. Resample mode, disable resample. If you're unsure what to do with this setting, I have a video that covers it. Just go watch that video real quick. I cover everything about disable resample. Um, so this all looks good. Audio, um, 48, so yeah, that all looks good. That's all correct. Um, I'm just gonna close that because I didn't change anything. So when we go, when, when everything is good to go, we're set here. I'm also gonna set an out point on this. Go ahead and press O, drag that over to your out point. So we're only rendering uh, the in here, which is I and O, in, out. We're ready to export, we go to file and there's a couple options. Export here is gonna give you an XML or something like that if you wanna export this to another editing program. So if you're gonna export an XML project uh, and open it up in DaVinci, you can do that for coloring. Um, but what we're gonna be doing to actually just render this clip is gonna be render as. So once you have this open, there's kind of a couple different options. Uh, and there's two that I tend to lean toward when I'm gonna be doing a render. The first one is Magic's AVC AAC MP4, and the other is Sony AVC slash MVC. And the difference between the two is actually really close. Uh, the reason I tend to use the Magic's one over the Sony one is because I don't see a huge difference in the actual visual quality. They look very, 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 very similar. I don't see any, any real artifacting or anything like that between them. Uh, the reason I tend to use this one, and this is one we're gonna use today, is because it allows for variable bitrate. Uh, Sony, this one does not use variable bitrate. It uses a constant bitrate. However, the Sony one does allow to do um, a 5.1 surround mix if that's what you want to do in here. So if you want to use a constant bitrate, um, go ahead and use the Sony one. Variable bitrate though, the advantage of this is going to be the file sizes are typically a lot smaller with a variable bitrate. So we're going to go over this today, especially for the sake of the tutorial. So uh, we have our 1080p clip here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this template to 1080p in the frame size. Uh, progressive download, include video. Yeah, that's fine. Profile, we want to have set to high. Even for 1080p, I always set it to high. Uh, our frame rate is 23976. We're going to go ahead and select that here. Make sure you choose the correct frame rate. Uh, I never checked this box. Field, order, progressive scan, definitely. Pixel aspect ratio, you do want to have set to one unless you're doing something with anamorphic, um, but we're not going to cover that in this video. Number of reference frames, you do want to have set to two. And we're gonna be doing a variable bit rate here. Um, if you wanna change it to a constant bit rate, you can go down to RC mode and select CBR. That's gonna be your constant bit rate. Uh, variable bit rate, as I said, will give you a smaller file size. And we are gonna do a two pass. So this is basically going to render the video or go through the video render twice and make sure you get in the highest quality possible. This is probably the most important setting uh, when you're gonna be doing any kind of rendering, bit rate. And Vegas is the only program I've seen that does 80 million and 40 million, but essentially what this is, and I brought this up, uh, it's it's bits per second, but I usually go off megabits per second, which is what most editing programs do. So if I look at the 40 million, that is 40 megabits per second. So to get the right bit rate with the highest possible quality, YouTube does, does have some uh, recommended settings that we can look at. So I have those pulled up here. And these are settings that you want to basically do this compression on your end to get the highest quality possible so that YouTube isn't doing uh, additional compression to your video because that will diminish your quality. So even if you do a higher bit rate uploading to YouTube, you will typically get lower results 
if YouTube is compressing your video more. So this is what they recommend. So we have a 1080p video, so, and 24 FPS. So we're gonna be doing eight megabits per second. So average bit rate here, we're gonna type in eight million, <laughs> eight, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, zeros. Uh, and the maximum bit rate, I don't wanna go too high on this. I typically go, you know, twice as much or, you know, half as much, something like that. Um, basically it's gonna fluctuate between those two if it needs it. So I'm just gonna do 16. So basically double that over. Number of slices you can do four. Uh, encoding mode, basically what this is gonna do is main concept AVC is going to use your CPU to render and the NV encoder is gonna use your GPU to encode. I usually use my CPU. Um, I've had some issues with not only this program but every program in existence using GPU encoding. I'm not sure where that comes from. Maybe people have had better luck than I have but I have a pretty high NPC and I still run into issues. So for the sake of this, I'm just gonna use my main concept AVC encoder. Audio, YouTube recommends having this set to 384 uh, for the bitrate. I'm not sure why they recommend that. I feel like most people use 192, um, but since we have stereo audio, uh, 384 is where you want it. System, don't change anything there. Uh, video rendering quality, wanna change this to best. Everything else you can keep the same. I'm not gonna go into color space right now. I could talk about this for like five days. So I'm just not gonna cover it right now. Basically set it to default for this video. And press okay. Uh, also, we can save this template if you wanted to call this like, you know, YouTube 1080 or something. You could just do that and then save it here if you wanted to do that. So that just about covers all of the render settings I can go over in this video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you don't like it, leave a dislike. It's gonna help me determine what kind of content you guys like to have uploaded to this YouTube channel. But hopefully it helps provide a little bit more information and take the guesswork out of rendering a little bit. Let me know in the comments below if you guys need anything. As always, thank you for watching and we will see you next time.